Guys, I'm not happy about the situation. This voice. So good that I'm laughing. So that's the channel is uh, BT plus DK. <laughs> hmm? Yeah? That's hmm? African travel couple. It's yeah. BT plus DK together, yeah? Yeah. I just came with this story actually because of the comments of yesterday. You saw them in our our new channel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guy, you got my heart for me. No, 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 man. If go you, the part I wanted to sing was not of being <laughs> the side nigga. Huh? A side chick? No, no, no. No, no. no more side chick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back and welcome. If this is your first time joining us, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate your presence. Just stopping by and spending your time with us, it really means a lot. Thank you so much. If this is your first time watching or you've been watching, but you have not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing, like the video, turn the notification bell on, of course, so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. And most importantly, share your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you think, what you like, what you didn't like, just name it. And of course, we'll interact as we always do. So today it will be a very short video because we'll just be talking about I think two or three things. So let's start with the BT and DK. Burundian traveler in uh, Diana Kemi because hey, as you might be aware, I think you are because I think we talked about this two or three, not even two, I think a week or two weeks ago. So they started a different YouTube channel, but now DK's fans, they are not, they don't like it. And uh, one of you uh, let me know about that. And when I went over there, the comment section is something else. Like people are just not, they just don't like that. And, um, and uh, they did come up with a video, both of them, to explain, to try and uh, make their supporters understand, not even their supporters, DK's supporters, because um, because they don't like that. I don't know why. Let's, uh, let's get into it and then uh, we'll talk about it in the comment section. You let me know what you think. And I'll try and uh, give my opinion to it because I think they have uh, posted four or uh, five videos on that channel. But now the, the video that uh, made people dislike the idea was this one. Let's watch and then we come back. To go back. So I spent in this country maybe two months or another one, one month. But now I don't like that one. I like to travel maybe one country at least two weeks. We go another one, two weeks. Yeah. Or three weeks, if you see there is a lot of to do, like right now in, for example, in Namibia, is one of the countries you can get a lot of things to showcase and also enjoying. Yeah, so, uh, like there you can even spend one month. Oh. Yeah, or three weeks is fine. Yeah, so, when you check something like that, it's very nice, you know, to explore and learning more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I myself, guys, I do like to travel too much, so, yeah, I do like to travel so much, so much. And I saw also Dana Kemi, she's actually the best because she have that experience of, um, of uh, you know, adapt, eh? is it to adapt to any kind of life? <laughs> yeah. Of course I can't share the entire video, but uh, when you just go through the, when you just watch the entire video, because I did, but of course it's, next to impossible to share the, the entire video over here but uh, this is what people are talking about in the comment section this is what dk's fans are disputing about the channel about the idea about that video the first thing is that um they are not happy that uh burundian traveler is so dominant like uh, this channel is supposed to be for both of them i'm saying supposed to be because there was a time in um when they went to tanzania there was a scene where Dana Kemi could be seen questioning uh, DK, like, is this channel for both of us or it's for you or something? And of course that made me think, could this be, uh, <laughs> could this be another scene of a Lenny and a Vin scenario? Because of course, of course you're aware that one person opened the channel, which according to me doesn't mean anything because because you opened the channel, but who was uh, who was posting on that ch on that channel? Who contributed to the growth of that channel? So back to my point, a lot of people are not uh, are not vibing with that channel because BT is the one dominating on that channel. Diana Kemi never speaks on that channel, even if she does, maybe two or three seconds. And of course, a lot of people are terming it a red flag. I don't know what you think about that because I'm still. 
trying to understand this situation because <laughs> they might have seen something for them to for them to react that way because I'm telling you guys it was just it's uh it's intense to a point that uh, they had they had to come up here with a video but this time around it was on on a BT's channel to answer these questions and of course I think that is another reason why a lot of people are not they have not accepted BT that much because uh, of course of what happened previously I think a few months ago and of course according to me I think it's not our place but of course if you share something on a public platform you should embrace people's reactions to that content that you publish on a public space so a lot of people are not happy about that because personally I would not watch that channel because if it's a couple's channel, I'd expect that uh, both of them play a role. Both of them direct the video, talk in the video, name it. But now when it's one person, I don't see the difference with watching BT's channel because it's the same thing. It's just that uh, Diana Kemi is, is there, you can see her, but of course you cannot feel her, you cannot, you cannot hear her voice, you cannot see her work, her contribution to that channel. So I accept that. I agree with that honestly. I don't see the point, you know, if it's uh, if it was uh, both of them talking on the channel, directing the channel, it would have made sense. But now when it's one person doing everything, dominating the channel, what's the point of calling it a uh, a couple's channel? Personally, I don't understand. And uh, this is my reason why that is happening. I think this is my opinion. I think this is a uh, BT's channel is just tagging DK along, of course for the views. But I think it's so clear that uh, this is just, this is BT's channel. He opened it, the earnings goes to his pockets and so on. You know, everything regarding to the channel because of this scene in Tanzania. Let's watch and then we come back. Yeah guys, so uh, this has been a very uh, nice video. Yes guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, for sure. Hello. And remember we have a new YouTube channel. Yeah, called African Travel, Travel Couple. Couple. Yeah. And we are here and we're going to start to do it. Do it again. Do yeah. it again. Yeah, yeah. Do it again. Yeah, yeah. Do it again. So that the channel is uh, BT plus DK. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. That's hmm? African travel couple. It's yeah. BT plus DK together. <laughs> what do you think? Because the first time I watched that part, the first time I did, that is what I thought. This is uh, DK's channel. This is uh, BT's channel. This channel belongs to Burundian traveler. DK, DK is just part of it. It's just a, can I say a trophy? The trophy just there you know so that you can see her so that we can uh, subscribe and we can watch but of course if you watch the first video you'll not tune in if you're there because of uh because of diana kemi because she doesn't talk she doesn't direct what is the point what is the point of calling it a, a couple's channel and of course as you saw on that uh, video that i just shared what do you conclude from that footage you're part of that channel, but you're not aware that uh, you both you both own the channel. You're, you're supposed to be posting content, both of you. Let's watch again and then we come back. So that the channel is uh, BT plus DK. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, that's hmm? African travel couple. It's yeah. BT plus DK together. Yeah? What do you think? <laughs> As I said, personally, I'm like, um, do your thing, but I hope. I hope they're on the same page because <laughs> we'll be here. We don't want to have another Lenny and uh, Lenny and Avin situation because, of course, you know what transpired. One person took over the channel. That is uh, Vin. He took over the channel because this is what he said. I opened the channel and I was the face of it. So, and this is exactly what we are seeing in this channel because you can go and watch the entire video. The video that they they both posted, that channel is so clear. It's um it's dominated by one person, and of course that is the reason why a lot of people are not having it. A lot of people are just like DK, we love you, but we are not boarding. This one we are not boarding. So another issue, another issue that her, her fans were raising is that um a lot of her fans were asking whose name is on that channel. I guess the accounts 
the account number that the proceeds from that channel goes you know where youtube pays the proceeds of that channel because <laughs> i think um this is what i think this is what i can draw from uh, from the comment section i think people are still people are, people have not moved on from what happened between the two of them what do you think guys what do you think so let's read two comments from that video and then we come back we go to something else so this person was in support of the idea because this is what i'll be doing i'll be sharing both negative and positive comments because i don't want to be biased in this space so this person said i beautiful bt and your future wife <laughs> my african travel couple we love your idea it will help you always to be together and uh, that will prevent problems but uh, someone commented someone left this comment after that post whose name is in this channel of course and that is what a lot of people were asking you know so and of course a lot of people were not boarding like why are you having a joint business you know you're calling it a couple and you're not married personally i don't see an issue with it honestly what do you think but uh do i agree with that idea do i uh, board the idea no personally i don't personally i don't for some reasons that i'll share let's finish reading the comments and then we'll be back so this person said dk i'm sorry but i'm not subscribing to this chapter i'll always support you on your own channel i'm out so this person said you guys don't understand that the new channel is uh, to create money for travel and separate channels will go towards building their houses their separate houses yeah if if this idea is so genuine they're on the same levels one person is not being suspicious then it's a beautiful it's a brilliant idea you know because it would be another source of revenue i agree with him but what we see i don't agree with it honestly so this person said i saw the dominance and i don't like it i saw the dominance too yeah and i think uh, at this point i think that is bt he just talks in any platform that he is he doesn't care who is there with him because of course you remember what happened in tanzania he was all over bt's he was all over dk's channel and of course a lot of people <laughs> greeted him that is what we say in kenya when someone says that uh, we are going to greet that person it's not like it's something good no <laughs> they are coming to give you their peace of mind that is something that has developed after the protests that is going on in my country so that is what people did they went to his channel and told him stop it that is not your channel and uh, that is what i think is happening that is his nature he will dominate but of course it's not a good it's not something good because of course this is the result people will not vibe with you because of course when you become so dominant in a space where it's supposed to be shared between these two people people will uh, draw negative conclusions and maybe you're not even doing it with bad intentions maybe that is just your nature you know what do you think maybe that is his nature but of course he needs to work on that because uh, he should be ready to receive such comments because of uh, him being that dominant in that youtube channel so this person said diana what is going on with you be careful you're still building your house dk this guy wants to control you and that is my opinion what do you think guys that is i'm trying to be so positive because uh, and that is what i could think maybe th this is his nature is not doing this with ill intentions maybe that's what i'm thinking but of course let me know in the comment section do you agree with me or you're like no <laughs> no this is not it so this person said why not continue with your separate channels the merger raises some red flags someone seems to dominate the other and uh, never ends well i agree it never ends well it never just look at the couple's youtube channels it never ended it never it never ended well and uh, when things fall apart of course that is not what we wish but when it does someone will always come out here and tell people that uh, i was the one making things to move moving things meaning that i was the one making the channel the face of the channel you know i was the one posting the content this and this when that might not be the case maybe you are just so dominant and the other person does not care <laughs> to fight for their rightful place 
we don't even have to go so far. Just check uh, Lenny and uh, Vin's situation. One person took over the channel. And uh, for your information, by the way, I saw that uh, Vin changed the name of that channel to Vin Vincent. What do you think? I think he did the right thing, the right thing. But at the end of the day, it's not fair. It's not fair for one person to take over the channel. But of course, I saw one of you. Uh, I read one of the comments that uh, one of you shared. I hope, I wish I'd uh, taken a screenshot. But of course, I agree with that person. One of you said, it doesn't matter. Because you take 70,000 subscribers, but they don't watch that content. They're just dominant. They don't watch your content. So what is the point? And of course, to some extent, I agree. I agree with that comment. But uh, of course, it's, it still means a lot. Because that video that Vin posts, that uh, Vin is posting, it is being recommended to a lot of people just because of that platform. You know, they may choose not to watch. But of course, you'll not miss two or three people watching because of that uh, notification, you know. So this person continued to say, Diana, as long as someone has not put a ring on your finger, never try permanent partnership. It shows that uh, someone is bringing dominance in the friendship. What do you think? Personally, this is my opinion with regard to opening a YouTube channel with someone that is, you're not married to. I don't think it's a bad idea, but um, it should not be done according to me to how they are doing it. Because for one person to be dominant, what is the point? He should have opened a, a second YouTube channel and then something else. I hope, <laughs> then I came in. DK, I hope you sat down and put things in order. If possible, you can even write an agreement, you know, whose account should YouTube be paying, you know, just for the sake. I think that is the safest way. How are you supposed to be utilizing these proceeds, how is it supposed to affect your normal life, your, your channel, your other channel? Because you'll notice that a decade does not. Sometimes when they are posting on this channel, the new channel, she will not uh, upload on a regular YouTube channel, but uh, DK will. So this is what I just have to say. I hope she's so careful. You know, I hope she's so smart. Because one thing about love, one thing about... Um, one thing about relationships, hey, you will be advised by your online in-laws, but um, I don't know what happens to someone. I don't know what happens to us. When you're in love, you can never take advice from nobody. You learn on your own. You know, you learn the hard way because uh, this is what she's supposed to do. This is what people are telling her in the comment section, but I don't know if she'll take the advice. But when things go south, that is not that is not what I'm praying or I'm hoping. But of course, just be safe than sorry, you know. <laughs> they should get some type of prenup, not the prenup prenup, but some sort of agreement. Just be safe. You know, I think once beaten, you should be twice shy. So this person said, do not mix channels. You're not married yet. Even then, keep your own channel. I think they are both keeping their separate channels. But um, of course, I understand why people are not boarding the idea. Personally, I also, I don't see it as a good idea, honestly. Not even a good idea. I don't, I don't buy it. But of course, it's a brilliant idea. But if, if they had made it a real couple's channel, you know, both of them are active the same way, you know. And of course, some agreements should be put in place because... <laughs> Once one person shows their true colors, of course, it will be so hard for you to see them in another light. That is why you're being told that uh, if you're in a relationship or if you're married, when you're going through the normal relationship issues, you know, you're not supposed to tell your family because they'll never forgive the other partner. Irregardless, that is why you're being told. This is something so normal, I don't know, but this is something, especially if you're in Kenya, it's always known that if you're going through something with your partner, never involve your parents, your family, because they'll never forgive the other person. You, the person you're in a relationship, you will. You'll forgive that person, but your family will never. And of course, it will never be the same. And I think that is what happened with uh, DK and BT. After what went on, after what 
transpired between the two of them. DK's fans, DK's supporters, they have never moved on. Of course, you can see that uh, DK has moved on. She's happy with the uh, Burundian traveler, which should be the case, you know. But of course, you cannot blame the rest of the of the family, you know, the rest of the supporters, the rest of the subscribers, they'll never, I think, some of them will never forgive the other partner. What do you think? Personally, I think that, uh, <laughs> this is my opinion, I think that uh, DK should be careful. That is what I have to say. What do you think about this DK and Burundian traveler situation? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. So, let's move to Rocio, Marwa's girlfriend, Marwa's wife. <laughs> because that is, how, that is how he refers Rocio. But of course, that is not the situation. They are not married. At least to our knowledge, you know. So, hey, Rocio is beefing with these boys. Because that is how he referred to the likes of... Um, but then I didn't even notice. I didn't recognize these people. I think... Uh, the only person that I recognized is Masubo, the other Masubo, not Masubo one, the Masubo in, a, in a Marwa's villa. So, this is what happened. She prepared the Kenyan mandazi. <laughs> I think she left the mandazis to overnight so that they can have it for breakfast. But when she came to the kitchen, <laughs> the mandazis were already consumed by these boys, these boys, without her knowledge. Without her knowledge, and of course, <laughs> she was fuming. And I also, I think I understand her honestly, because um, you prepare something, you wake up, and you know there is something, you know, you had planned how you consume the mandazis. <laughs> and then you wake up, it's not there. It's something that uh, can make you pissed off, you know. But I think this situation is so different, because this, the same boys, are the same people who always cook for them, you know. It's like they are part of that family, you know. It's like they are brothers, sisters, or kids to that couple. So <laughs> it cannot, uh, it might not be that um, that weird, you know, because that is what they've been doing. You'll find a man with a wife at home cooking in the villa, you know, cooking for the rest of the family. But I think this is the same thing that I was saying. I hope, I wish, I can't wait for that point that... Um, we all can have something, you know, so that you can have that respect. Because, of course, these people would have not gone there if they were not looking for, for a living. They would have not put themselves in that situation. Because, of course, it's not a good look when a, someone with a wife with kids goes to the villa, stays there, cooks. I'm not saying that uh, as a man you're not supposed to cook or something, no. I think this is a different case. It's a different case because you'll find the Muzungu is just sitting, you know, is waiting for you to bring the food. That, according to the African culture, don't drag me for that, for, for making a reference to African culture. I think not limited to African culture, wherever you go. Even you, for instance, would you like that? That is your husband in the villa cooking for people who are able to cook. But because of that situation, because of how they view you, because of how or where you've positioned yourself to be that servant, that slave, you know, that you go to other people's house, you prepare food for them. I hope you understand what, you, what I mean, you know. It's not a good look. Not even a good look. Personally, I understand them. They are there to try and make something. Try and make a living. So before you even continue, let's watch. Then we'll come back and close the video. Guys. I woke up. I woke up. And I come here to serve the manasses. To see their reactions. And you know what? Everybody's here. Look at all these men here having breakfast, very relaxed, with no mandazis at all. <laughs> How come? How come? No, they were very sweet. They, they were, were good sweet. at least? Yeah, very... Look, this is what is left. <laughs> this voice. So good that I'm laughing. <laughs> but I want, I want Uncle Mo to try 
think it is over, but I suspect it is over. I already tried also. But let's see, let's let's go. We're gonna have some guys. I'm not happy about the situation that we just saw because I made two big pans. One it was meant to share here with Uncle Mo, with Asa Vega, with everybody, even even Congress Mom. She was yesterday on the kitchen, and and I wanted her to try them on. And and the other one, it was a big one that I, I wanted to bring to Giti Rivas project as a gift because it's the the first days of his project and and they are like 20 there so now i don't have enough to do that no because today there are less people in the first project between them five they eat a full a whole full uh, pot <laughs> so i'm not happy because they're nice so uh, they're nice people eat a lot now yeah but I, but it was not the plan i was the one to serve <laughs> <laughs> and they serve themselves first but okay so now we have okay if they are less in the project maybe i can at least take one each <laughs> no but i made a lot guys you made you saw it yesterday and now one pot is gone so that shows you they're nice if like people want to eat your stuff <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those boys, but of course the same boys, the same those boys. They are the same people who cook for you. There's the same people who work there, you know. I honestly, this is what I have to say. I don't think this was something that uh, Rocio was supposed to bring to the internet. Honestly, because, and uh, you could notice in the background, Marwa was not having it. He was like, uh, it's a good look because uh, it means they enjoyed your mandazis, but I think it was just trying to, to calm the situation because Rocio was pissed because of these mandazis. It doesn't matter whether you didn't like it, whether it's wrong or not. I think this was not supposed to come to the internet. What do you think? Because imagine that person that they are being referred to as boys. It's not even the term, but it's the way. You can imagine you're in someone's house, you know? And the couple is in another room talking about you. Those boys, I should have been the one to distribute the mandazis. But they just go there and eat. Yes, what they did could be wrong. But I think it's, it's not right. It's not cool that uh, the Rocio chose to bring it to the internet, honestly. Some things are supposed to remain private. Because that is what usually happens with that. Sometimes, sometimes Marwa would share something so controversial, something that pisses people, that makes people to hate Rocio, you know. And, he's, and she's always out here telling Marwa that you should not share that, this and that. And this is not even something that will make people hate these guys. This is something that is embarrassing, honestly. People will be like, these are the same people who goes to the villa to eat people's food. I honestly didn't like the fact that she chose to publish that in the internet. So, what do you think about that? That was it about it today. A very short video, but I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the video in the comment section. If you've not subscribed, kindly subscribe, like the video, turn the notification bell on, of course, so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. And most importantly, share your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you think, what you like, what you didn't like. And of course, we'll interact as we always do. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, my people. Thank you so much for always watching, sharing your thoughts in the comment section, liking the video, name it. Thank you so much for all the good things that you do to me on this channel. I really appreciate. I'm so humbled and uh, it means a lot. Thank you so much. So that was it for today. Until the next video, peace. Bye.